Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about getting high resolution screenshots on a Retina Mac. So, I was making a thumbnail the other day for a video on my channel, and I needed to do a screenshot, and I kind of wanted a higher res version. So, I did a test, and the test ended up working. I took a screenshot on my screen. This is like the normal screenshot of this, and then I took one with the Retina mode, and I noticed that the file was a lot bigger. So, um, I had 330 kilobytes versus 1.3 megabytes. So in order to get the larger higher res file on the display settings, so this is if you went into system settings and then display, you on a Retina Mac, you'll see, and this would work on Retina laptops, it would work on probably like some of the iMacs, and um, if you have a Retina display hooked up to a regular Mac. Um, you have this here where it says scaled, and you have larger text or more space. And you want to set it to larger text. When you have it on larger text, it does like a pixel doubling thing. So it uh, uses more pixels to represent everything. And it's higher resolution. It makes everything bigger, but that's fine for what we're trying to do. So you want to set this to larger text. And then take your screenshot. And then you can set it back to whatever mode you're using. Now, I usually use this with an external monitor. And I have my display closed. So I actually had to take the Mac um, and open it up. So I was using the actual Retina display to take the screenshot. So that gave me these two images here. I have the normal screenshot, and then I have the high res. And I'll switch back and forth. So this is normal, high res. Normal has blue on the left, and high res doesn't. And I'm not completely sure why that is. Um, and I didn't investigate, don't really care. Um, it's kind of hard to see the difference here between the resolutions, because we're on a 720p display, and that image is larger than 720p. But I'll show you where this came into play and made it look better. One thing is if you're printing, the high res can help, but I enlarged it. So, so I'll look at the thumbnails I ended up creating, and this is the low res version, and this is the high res version. And you can see the difference between low res, high res, low res, high res. There's a, you know, quite a big difference there. So if I open up both of these images in Affinity Photo, you can see there's a resolution difference. This is the normal one. It's 927 by 573. And then the Retina one is 1856 by 1144. So you can see it's about roughly twice the resolution. So I had cropped this, so my crop wasn't perfect, and there could be other things um, changing it. But um, you can see there's a lot more pixels in there. So times you would potentially want to use this would be if you're maybe making a screenshot like I'm doing, or you're printing something out, you want a higher res. Um, if you're doing like a website, I mean, you could certainly use this to get a little bit higher resolution image of the website. You could also maybe export the website as a PDF and get high res too. Um, so it may not be as good for that. Um, but anytime you're doing any kind of system things, you know, all these icons on the Mac have high res modes on them and things like that. And then the fonts can be rendered as high res. So using a retina display and then choosing that larger text in there is going to give you that really nice high res image that you can blow up. It's going to look better when it's printed. It's just a you know better way to take a screenshot if quality is what you want. So that's all for this video. I know this doesn't apply to everyone taking a screenshot. It's kind of a niche thing, but um, I found it kind of helpful for what I was doing. But if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.